cards for the challenger, Miss Woman? Uh, good luck, Heather. <laughs> luck is for dudes. I cannot wait to watch a bunch of biological dudes stampeding the women's national soccer team and knocking them chicks about. But until we get that, I will have to settle for this. Here you got a Woke War on Woman, brought to you by the Gateway Pundit. Biological male concusses female during NHL-endorsed transgendered hockey tournament. What? What did I just read? This is all in English, right? I noticed a whole bunch of English words, and they were put into sentence structure. But I do not know what I just read. So I'll explain it to you. In case you didn't go to college and waste mommy and daddy's money and get a stupid gender therapy degree, I'll explain you. Here, here's what you got. The NHL is now super duper woke. They're sitting there going, how could we lose more American market share? Let's go super duper woke. Let's do that. And so the NHL is telling everybody, oh my God, we're super duper literally proud to support this past weekend's team trans draft tournament in Milton, Wisconsin. This was the first tournament compromised entirely of transgender and non-binary players with around 80 folks, folks, participants. See, they can't say men and women. Even because it's got non-binary gender fluid individuals. So you got to call folks. People go, uh, just play hockey? You want to just, you, you want to just play hockey? No. Oh my god. So men are playing on women's teams. No. Trans women are women. Trans women are women. Trans men are men and non-binary identity is real. Holy shit, what a bunch of AIDS. So, they sit out there and they go, we have got to pump this woke ideology. We won't get any more of them Joe Biden free bucks from that dude who looks like Matt Damon on AIDS. With monkey box. We need more wokeness or we won't get free federal money laundered through us. And so they put this together. And so... Biological male concusses female during NHL endorsed transgender hockey tournament means you got a biological dude pretending that he's not a biological dude. He got long hair now. So now he's a woman. And he's skating on the ice. 284 pounds, six foot three. He's steamrolling on the ice. And he knocks into a man who was born a biological woman who weighs about 115 pounds wet with, with all the gear on. And got hollow bones like a bird. And she explodes like Mr. Glass. <laughs> the non-binary, gender-fluid, bisexual, trans woman murders on accident a frail, very stubbly-haired, strong-empowered man. <laughs> Stupid. The whole thing's crazy. Who do you think won, by the way? You got a team that's predominantly made up of biological males transitioning to be females versus a team of biological females Transitioning to be males. Who are the odds makers on this? Because ain't nobody gonna put any money on that other team with the chicks who all weigh, I don't know, 115 pounds? Sure, because it's 7 to 1. And they just, they like, get like, oh, listen. Oh my god, Christina. We better stop scoring. It's gonna look really weird. <laughs> I mean, 7 to 1. Most people don't, again, because nobody watches hockey in this country. That's insane. 7 to one's crazy. And so here you go. They're gonna break it down for you. This is this other outlet. And they're saying, quote, that someone was Team Black Player 91. Self described female to male transgender player who was pushed to the ice by a much larger she her member of team peak 90 who describes publicly as a quote by a bisex <laughs> a bisexual trans woman that doesn't even sound like you're committing essay right that, that sounds like you couldn't even qualify for the men's team and you're like hmm how can i still get paid to play hockey even though i suck real bad oh i know what i'll do i know what, i know what i'll do i'm gonna grow out my hair i'm gonna paint my nails and I'm going to tell everybody that I am brand news is I'm a trans woman. I'm bisexual, too. Okay, whatever. <laughs> That's sweetheart. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. So, this, this biological female that gets, again, just tapped and falls down to the ice, on the ice for 17 minutes, gets stretchered out. Everybody starts screaming how stunning and brave this is. I'm sitting there going, this is dumb as hell. This is dumb as hell. Let's hurt some more females doing this. Let's do this. Let's take some more females, put them in an octagon, with another woman who's got a woman penis and who's also got woman testicles. And let's have more women getting their orbital sockets broken. Let's get more women concussed, right? Let's let's keep doing this. This makes a lot of sense, right? All you dumb assholes with your pussy hats. Huh? 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 Idiots. There you go. NHL is very proud of this. NHL is very happy that biological women are getting concussed on the ice. Weird. And they're going to continue to promote this because, of course they are, because if they don't, they won't get any free money from the federal government for diversity and inclusion grants. Slava Ukrainians. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video support channel. We kept up to date on this war on women. Hit that subscribe button and make white.